Welcome back, guys, to Miami. A day in Miami podcast. Eddie and my man Burger Beast here. I'm excited, Ed. Good to yeah, have you back. So I've heard a lot of great things of yeah. Burger Beast. It was I always felt like it was like somebody like mythical. You know, I never, never met him in real life, and he's here Old school. in office, and uh, I've learned a lot from you in the last 15 minutes. It's pretty impressive. I Welcome, Thank Seth. You guys. Thanks for having me. He does have a name. So I think I'm going to go first just to, like, the viewers. Right off the for, jump. Yeah, like right that. off the jump. For people who don't know who he is, who is the Burger Beast and why the name Burger Beast? That name was given to me by my wife. Actually, my wife chose uh, my food blog's name as Burger Beast. Yeah, and people just assumed I was referring to myself, and I was like, I mean, if that's what they wanted to be. Well, he is beast like. He does. He's very beast like. <laughs> Big dude like me. I'm so happy to have somebody yeah. my size. <laughs> and and, and um, what does it mean to be the burger beast? That means. Uh, so the name, she suggested burger beast because she says that I beast burgers when I eat them. I mean, I don't know that I concur with that, but I mean, she's the one who has to watch <laughs> what me. What do you eat. think? She has to watch sure. me eat. She has to watch me eat the burger. So I guess. She would be a better judge of, of that. Yeah, we uh, we come from the same hoods. So we're both from Westchester, and Burger Beast was actually my first Instagram follow when Instagram first started. How long ago was that? Like oh seven or eight? No, when did it twelve start? or thirteen? Yeah, yeah. so it was more back then. Blogs were in. There was no influencer that even that word was. What even, is that? Yeah, that. that word wasn't even for us mm-hmm. being old school. That wasn't even something that we knew about. But it was blogs, and it was something where you would go on the computer and read what he thought about burgers. You know, obviously, me and him, we, we've we always known a little bit about food because, you know, we're equipped for it. Yeah. <laughs> right? No, but listen, for everybody who thinks this guy's, or they, at least Kiko, you know, there's certain foodies who you see them go out, eat, etc. I can actually, like, Kiko's one of those guys that will give you an honest opinion on something. He doesn't mess around. Number two, if I have something at home, like I don't know how to cook something, I'll call him. Hey, yeah. I got these like, you know, mammoth prawns that he gave me from yeah. our plug at the fish plug. You know, shout out yeah. to them. Shout out. And I'm like, how do I cook this? Brother, and he told me, Dan, 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 gives me a little recipe. I cook. For sure. My wife loves them. I think the difference uh, between me and Seth is Seth is older. We both went to St. Brendan. So I was a freshman. He was a senior. Um, bring a world so we like didn't, ha- big difference. We didn't <laughs> hang out too much because I was a freshman. Who the hell was yeah. hanging out when you were yeah. senior? I pushed him out of the way a few times, I think. But he's always <laughs> he's, he's a bully. He's always been not just some guy that likes to eat burgers. He's a historian, bro. He knows, you know, the history of like the old school stuff, like on Bird Road and Westchester. We grew up in some of burger like relic spots that you see like in old commercials on Instagram, and we actually like grew up in that era, right? So it's more like just say I like burgers. There's a whole. I mean, that guy's crazy about All right, but knowledge and the whole scene about it, you know? You just gave me a good uh, segue, right? Bird Road is known for, you know, a lot of Cuban restaurants and like the Cuban... Are they? Are, are they? Hey, Rio Cristal? So. They are. It's just a place. Rio Cristal. Uh-huh. Rio Cristal? I guess Open what year? Is... I'm not sure what, the, what year they opened. 74. But what year? 74. Oh. Is the Cuban frita considered a burger? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And frita cubana. Frita Cubana. That's the official name. Yeah. That's the official name. Yeah, because, you know, the gringos uh, call it Frida Burger. It's no, no such thing. That's Frida their, Burger. That's their you said Frida Burger? <laughs> no, I said it's the Cuban no, Frita. Oh, no, no, I don't think he said that. No, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> you know, no, no. I, I haven't started with him yet. <laughs> no, but, but but Seth, bro, we. I mean, I really want to delve into, like, how did you get to love and to, like, you know, like, like the whole blogging thing? Because that's, that's the whole, like, different animal. That's, like, really putting time yeah. in. Typing out you're some you know like intelligent like not just with memes and other bullshit right it's like like real like knowledge of like the, what he really thought or and why he thinks that yeah so and elaborate a little bit on like why you got so obsessed with the history about it that's what when I when I started the food blog it, it kind of started I, I knew we had the name I bought the URL and then uh, unfortunately shout out to Eastside Pizza which was the first post I ever did and I just found out they closed wow in uh, oh, North Eastside Miami Pizza, North yeah. Miami. Yeah, it used to be called Flores, and I've been going there since I, I was a kid. I went there, someone, my, my uncle had told me, hey, you got to go try this meatball sub there. I went there, saw they were doing a burger. I found that very odd that a pizza place would be doing a burger all of a mm-hmm. sudden. I asked him, like, do we, we do our own hand patty. Uh, uh, we do a burger with, uh, I think it was mushrooms, onions, Swiss cheese, and they baked their own burger bun. And I was like, that's kind of strange that a pizza place would take. Ooh, yeah. I ordered it. All it that was lemons. so good. I busted out my flip phone Motorola oh, Razor, took a picture. Oh, the Razor. It is it is an ugly picture. <laughs> it an is an ugly, huh? ugly picture. You still got it? I do have it. Ben, yeah, yeah, we got it. He has to send it to him. He'll get it for us and throw that in there for us. 
Like, what's that? Yeah, that's I, remember right. that. I remember that. that you can so see how bad, you... the, how bad the quality <laughs> of the images were. <laughs> did you give, like, when you're at a place like that, how do you go about giving a review? Well, I went back and then I decided, hey, I'm going to open a, a, a blog. And that was kind of the general idea between ha be, uh, by having the name. I was planning. I just wasn't inspired yet. And I was thought it was cool that this pizza place wanted to do a burger. So went home, went on Google, opened an account with Blogger, and I did my first post that night. And I just wrote about my thoughts and kind of like I grew up eating at this place and a little background of it. Now I kind of not only give a background if there is with me, I look up history on the place of something important. The build, Maybe the building has something uh, significant about it. Got you. And then I bring that up also, which I also do different that's, posts or things go around Miami. And, that's the vibe, though. That yeah. was what I what always drew me and everybody else, like just that's, a little history about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I know that you guys may laugh at me about this one, but like I love... Big Pinks in South Beach. Oh, I thought you were about to say something. <laughs> no. No. But it's a good go, place. Wait, what no? a revelation. <laughs> look, 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 look. Like, tell me I love a big, big, big Pinks. I personally liked it. Yeah, it's a diner. It's okay. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Patty melts very good. Patty melt. You have some special connections to Patty melts. Yes, I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> obsessed with that. You know, when I was a kid, my family, when we go to Disney, or in particular on vacation, I did not want to eat eggs. Right, I had made it in my head that if I ate these eggs, I would have a stomach ache. I don't know where I got this idea from. Really? So we go to like IHOP, and then I'd always get a patty melt for breakfast because right, that was the eggs. only kind of thing that was available for breakfast that was not breakfast. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's where the I, that's the only thing I can trace back to why my obsession. There's, uh, there's some good patty melts out there. There are they, patty melts are originally from. They're still California. around though, like on menus and stuff. Or they, yeah. they're all. Old you know school? who makes an incredible patty melt? Oh. Denny's. I'm a fan of Denny's. Yeah, I'm not so a fan of Denny's. Let me tell you why. My grandmother worked at the Denny's on 87th and Bird for 20 years. And the summers, when my mom was was single at the time, a, I would spend summers rollando the, the, the napkins with the uh -huh. fork and knives and slamming down mother butter pies. And, and you were at Arbetters, my huevo. And then, of course, at Arbetters. <laughs> Arbetters and Frankie's, that's our hood. I, I worked at the Lurias uh, there. The Lurias. And then my grandmother worked another, after those 20 years of relieving at Denny's, she worked 10 years at La Carreta across the street, bro. So, bro, that was more Westchester. That's why I guess I but, kind of fell in love with restaurants and shit like that. You know, it's funny. Um, he's telling me about a lot of memories he has at Frankie's Pizza. Frankie's I've Pizza. never been to Frankie's, and I drive by it yeah, every day. Know. And I drive by it every day, bro. I know, Can that's you incredible. It's not like he's from somewhere else. He's from here. Can you believe that? Let's go right now. <laughs> nah. And he's still hasn't gone. I mean, his well, wife the thing is, is small. She's not a big no, no, eater. The, no, no. I'm the thing is about that. The thing is that, like... I'm going to call the owners right now. The thing is that the Frankie's Pizza is, like, it's in the dead center of my job and my home. So it's like, it's I pass by it every day, but I don't really have, like, you know, I don't go by. You get me? But tell me a little bit about the history, you, both of you guys, and Westchester, about Frankie's Pizza. Man, I was born back there on 92nd. I went to Baldor, so that was my hood. And my dad's eating the pizza on the hood of the car and fighting with my brother for the little taster piece. <laughs> and yeah, they always put a, the a family's slice, been there 60 the something box. years, and I'm 47, so I've been there with them. <laughs> Roxy's still there. She was like a champion basketball player in high oh, school. Wow. Model. And model. She's like six yeah. feet still, six one or something yeah. like that. And she's been sitting in that counter for 40 years. And I take my daughter, and I was nine, and I said, look, that lady was there when you were here. That age, when I was that age, she's still right there. Look at her. That's you know, a, that Frankie died a while back, you know. But Oh, wow. Frank, Frankie's, so the original location was by UM. So that's not right, the original location. Right, that's right. the second location. It was a place uh, previous to that called Norman's Market, not the Norman's that recently right. closed, not the same one. Uh, if you go on BurgerBeast.com, you can actually see pictures of the original building. And you see that, bro? So they opened, oh, that's, that's... The original location opened in 55. That one opened, I think, around 57. And the pictures... I got this from the Pasquarella family who owns Frankie's, and they yeah. gave me a picture. From the angle, you could kind of see Bird Bowl in the distance. Which wow. Is cool, which I like what I'm going She's been there longer than Frankie's. Yeah. I, I and mean, just, just like the Crest Quality Cleaners, I think... I remember next door used to be a Cochinito, which was like a little market that I would walk in, bro, at five, six years old, <laughs> through the back, straight to the Pancuano oven... Grab your own pong and they charge you a dollar and then walk back to my house, bro. Man, those are the best memories, huh? Bro, that's Westchester, bro. Yeah. He's Gabe's, from well, from the Gabe's. same. A lot of legends are with Jimmy the Mojo's Donuts. Is from Sergio's. Westchester. Sergio's. Sergio's. That's the original Sergio's location. Yep. The one out there. Yep. Yep. So uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, let's let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, no. A lot of people yeah, say, start shooting a lot of people say, and I'm going to say it right now, that you're a little bit of a bully when it comes to uh, what you think. Uh huh. And? And what, and what, and what bothers you. Because he's very vocal, right? Okay. And I think nowadays that's you know could be challenging. I think I think now he's it's been a while. You know, it's been a long time. He's a little bit more tame, right? You're gonna say? Depends. Uh, before, it depends on the topic. Before, <laughs> before he would come at you, uh, 
in an intellectual, professional yeah. manner that would rip your soul out of your body. <laughs> so give me an Thank example. You, man. Give Thank me you. an That's example. Nice. <laughs> That's nice. I've always called him the nicest asshole. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you can you talk a little bit about, <laughs> talk about why why I'm an asshole? <laughs> no, no, nah, you're not an asshole. People don't even know you and they talk shit. Hey, why would you get so upset at some stuff that was going on in our community when it came to food? The way people started with the whole posting and the influencer. I, I, my main, you're my not main, an influencer. No, yeah. My my main thing is not. It's just lies. I don't I don't care. You can say whatever. You can have your opinion. We can disagree. You like yeah. this. I like that. It, 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 that doesn't matter to me. It's lying about things having a hidden agenda, me knowing that you have a hidden agenda and you're going to try and perpetrate to the public, hey, this place is great. Yeah, well, why don't you say you just paid you $2,000 to say it's great? Because yeah. that's, I think, an important part of this equation. Yeah. You know? And so that's, that's what my topic. issue is. So I call people out and be like, yeah, uh, how about you? Admit so who, who are like the top, I don't know, five foodies influencers that you feel are like the main perpetrators of that type of stuff? I don't follow them. To be quite honest, oh, yeah. I, I honestly, it's, I, I don't, I'm not even, I, I, to be honest, I don't pay attention to All right, them. but who are like the uh, ones that you know that you're like, okay. People that got angry at me for making, um, I can tell you like, uh, and, and, and I have to preface this because I've met them all. And yeah. they're actually cool people in person. But I can separate me knowing you personally and me going, I'm going to shred this person. Yeah, uh, for, right. for like, I, I like how he's getting nervous because I know uh, they're, yeah, they're right. buddies with him. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're but good, listen, but that, honestly, because <laughs> criticism is always good. Look, you can, and also look. I grew up in a different environment, an era where That's, you busted your chops with your friends, and you like to hold in and yeah, mess around me with too. people. And and so now you there's can't no even more do that, that tough skin. You, you say there's just nothing. Like I got in trouble for t saying that the naughty fork. Uh, I, I insinuated that you know, I said something about her and giant slices of pizza. Yeah, like saying, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if I had, if I was half naked with a giant slice of pizza, I would probably get you know this many followers. <laughs> yeah, and people got mad, and I'm like. But I'm, I'm speaking, speaking of facts, I mean, I don't think anyone wants to be say, see me half naked. <laughs> but honestly, people don't get mad, but I think that'll go, I think that'll go viral anyway. Well, let's make up, bro. I mean, maybe I'm, I have an opportunity maybe for Maybe she's teaching here. you something there. She's probably teaching you the gimmick there. I also got in trouble, and I don't remember which influencer this was. They, oh, did, like, they did a picture of themselves kills. in a hotel room in Las Vegas looking out the window and saying, I'm looking over my life and blah, blah, blah. And I wrote, who took this picture? <laughs> And bro, I got shredded for that, and I was laughing so much. So, this is like a legit question. I mean, like, why did you why did you do a face? Well, yeah, why didn't you do a selfie of yourself? Why does it have to be some dramatic picture of you with the shadows and you're looking out like out the window? And <laughs> but that's like I think that's all like people wanting to present like a perfect image of everything, you know. And and that's I think what differentiates a lot of us. You know, that we're just kind of like raw and this is what it is and that's it, you know? Uh, that's what I'm all about and that's why I get myself in trouble. <laughs> but I, I think I think a, 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 a big question that I like, we work with a lot of restaurants, okay? And sometimes you have the restaurant owner that understands, you know, not that they don't, not that all of them don't understand, marketing. And then sometimes you have the restaurant owner that like doesn't feel like I have to pay this person a fee, which is whatever, they're asking me for a fee. Then I got to give them free food for them to post something about me, like a review, Right. You know, that has dramatically increased in the last some couple of them, years. Some of them get mad. They'll just be pissed off or like, 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 fuck them. I'm not, there's no way. Yeah. But like the thing is that the last couple of years has dramatically increased. Now, from my end, from a marketing perspective, I see their point of view where they, ha a lot of these foodies and influencers have shifted from being like something casual where they just did on their off time to now they're trying to, they're trying to turn it into like a profession and make money off of it. So now right. if full you full notice, productions. yeah, if you notice the uh, industry, when I used to do pitches before, a lot of them would come in for free. For example, they would come in for free and then, and I've gotten heat. You pay the marketing agency, but you don't pay the influencers. My like, brother, I'm being paid to do a job to organize you guys right. to go. We're coming to the deal. You guys go for free. Cool. You post. You get some free publication. You get some get content, and every, everybody's happy. Now it's not like that anymore. Now it's everyone sending media kits, billing. Mm -hmm. Now me having to tell a client, you need an additional uh, right. budget now for uh, influencers. And then, which, you know, you always come to an agreement. But how do you see that, how that's changed, and what do you feel about that? Not a fan. Uh, I, I think it's a, a fan if you can prove that they, they're worth that money. But how do you really prove that? Is there an upswing and people coming in and you know th them posting i can go on, p on a page and just like something that doesn't mean i'm going to go to the restaurant and eat there yeah and we all know that they have their networks and their foodies there, and their, there's, their there's chats pe there's yeah. people there's you know. people that look I, i'm friends with mr eats you know 305 
And I can tell you, I know know for a fact that if he writes about a place, you know, people are going to go there. That's, yeah. that's 100% a fact. But that's a good point. And he's one of those people that when he does post, people have told me that people do show up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we do have a list. Like, we know our top foodies and influencers. Like, you know, Evie the foodie is a good one that when she goes, people actually go because I see it measurable. There are some foodies. Pika City is another one that when he goes, people actually show who, up. Who? Pika never, City? Never. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, may I take a bite? Another one. May I take a bite? They're good. Yeah, there is like your hardcore, like, and then there's the ones that are ridiculous. You know, that's like, you know, $5,000, which it is what it is, but they have a global audience and it's kind of just to be saying. Global audience, but not a local audience. That's what I'm saying. Right. It's kind of just You're to be like saying. it from Greece? Exactly. Or from your vacation in Paris? Exactly. So, Seth, do you think that, that, that the influence are taking off now because just like nobody's really watching local news? I mean, I just retired from uh, local news after 27, 25 years. But, I mean, just the numbers aren't there, bro. You think maybe just because it's on the phone? They're, they're not there. I mean, when we used to do events. So We've I done TV. To, first I of all, started in, 2000, in 2008, I started the blog. When I started doing events in 2013, and I'd go on Six in the Mix, and I'd see yeah, people yeah. over there and stuff. It was a different world. Media was a different world. Mm-hmm. The Miami Herald was it. If you, the Miami Herald wrote about you. That was a big deal. Yeah. The Miami Herald writes about you now, and it's like. Nobody cares. It's, yeah, it's Nobody not. Cares. If you're not connected to your phone and looking at the right place, I get bombarded with people sending me, you know, videos of restaurants. I don't care. I still go about the same methods to find Maybe places I want to go write about. But you're a rare breed, dog. Mm-hmm. A rare breed. No, I, yeah. and, and I understand that. But over the years, because I've also done so many road trips, and my, the readership of my blog has evolved. Where my readership on my blog is only really kind of like in South Florida, like 25%. It's mostly the rest of the United States because I've gone to so many states and written about other places. Yeah. How big is a blog right now, like readership wise? Uh, between two to three thousand a day, <laughs> uh, people visit the page. Oh wow, that's good. And, that's a good traction. And then you know, the, other than my after Miami, the next biggest city is New York for me. Right, Miami's like twenty. I think Miami's like twenty point something percent. New York is like five point six. Breaks down. I have readership in Venezuela, which that's it's only because of uh, because of Miami. Huh? Because of the chefs from Miami that have written uh, or mentioned me. And say say no, but I remember that tour say you say took. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good guy. I remember that tour you would take up north and stop at every freaking stop and try yeah. different two, places. Two, two years ago, we did something. Some shit. Them. I was like, I, I ain't eating that because it would be just <laughs> fucking so Americanized. That, yeah, we I did. A, we did a, a thing with Camacho Cigars and we went on a, on a road trip and we were gone 27 oh, days. Well. We did pop ups. In addition, I was signing copies of my book at all these places. So. They would get cigars. They would get, uh, uh, I don't remember what they were drinking. I think it was a whiskey. They would get my burger and my book, and then I'd be signing books for everybody at all these events. And, uh, and, and we, the did, we did, we did, we did, we, we were in, you know, Fayetteville, North Carolina. We were in Rhode Island, Detroit, Memphis, Indianapolis, Houston. We drove to all these cities. Wow. Yeah. Time. And you were with a team or solo or? My wife and my cousin who was grilling, so she was helping him set up. I was doing that. I was mostly talking to the public at these events. And then there was someone else who traveled with us who had the picnic tables, our griddle, and everything else. We had stuff shipped in. We had stuff that we brought with us. And so you were doing pop-ups throughout the country. Yeah, That's uh, on, on, the, on, the east, uh, on the East Coast. And it, it was fun. And I thought, man, what a great idea. When I got back, I was like, never. <laughs> never yeah. again. Because I got I, we're, we're, we're up in Detroit. We're probably two and a, two, two and a half weeks in. And we would wake up and we'd be like, I want a croqueta so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want a cafe con leche right now so bad. And, you know, yeah, and, it, yeah, yeah. No yeah. and then we would, I would stop at diners. I'd, I'd find Cuban spots and I'd compare it to Miami. I'd be like, nah. <laughs> nah. Everybody complains there's not, there's not enough Cuban spots throughout the, throughout the rest of the part of the country. Well, when you go to the other states, like I've eaten at a Cuban spot in, in Columbus, Ohio, and I've eaten at one in, in Georgia. But it is Cuban, but it is not Miami Cuban. So there's like subtle differences. Yeah, you know, and a lot of them when they have croquetas, they just use the frozen brand. They don't they don't make croquetas yeah, from scratch. Right. <laughs> but like, <laughs> no, no, the tu, box. They're always like, "Tú sabes cuánto trabajo pasar esta croqueta para vender cinco al día." <laughs> oh, yeah, true, That's a good point. I mean, you as a you know a foodie or in this case like a burger connoisseur, you know, mm. um, the burger connoisseur. How is it like? I can eat anything, right? Not that you can't. But your palate needs to be special, no? Like, do you like do you have like a sense of your palate? Do you understand what you're eating? What's it? Can you eat a burger and know they put these type of ingredients in it? The first thing I do when I try a burger is I actually look at the at the actual beef and I'm trying to dissect the grind, 
I, I'm not. I, I can't tell you that I'm good at figuring out what the blend is. That I, I cannot. That would that would be a total bold face lie. Right. But I'm more preoccupied whether it's fresh beef and how the the beef is ground. And you can you tell a lot by the texture of the of the beef. Yeah. And when I go anywhere, I'm like a vanilla ice cream kind of guy. I'm a, you know, first time I go somewhere, I'm like I go to a barbecue place. I want no sauce. I want to try the brisket by itself. I want to try a burger, just meat. And bread or meat and cheese. Yeah, because he doesn't. Do I want. I want. I want to. I want to try. I don't do lettuce and tomato. So you went straight it. just for yeah. like the taste yeah, of the he, burger. No lettuce, tomato, which is kind of weird. That's incredible. No, that's not weird. That's the original way. No, I'm that's saying, the American yeah. way, bro. No, it's true. It's true. It's true. You're right. You're yeah, right. you're right. But I mean, yeah. If you're gonna be blogging about something, I think that's the right way no, to do but, it. No, I mean, what's wrong with the burger, lettuce, and tomato? What, I love but, it. No, but the, pro- the problem is, but like, I understand a lot what you're saying. People forward me pictures. They're like, you gotta check this out, and it's like a burger, as like I said, with a pile of shit on it, right? Like, it's like I can't even decipher what's on it, and they're like. Look how good that looks. I'm like, I mean, yeah, I don't like, know if that like looks Los good Verdes to me. And right. these guys. Right. No, you're right. You're no, right. I, I don't think that's, I mean, but that's a couple sauces and stuff. Right? No, but I see people and they get like a burger and they dip it in cheese sauce and they cut it in half. Ah, that's, that's for, for sure, man. That's and, for sure. No, no, but there's people like, hey, why don't you do this at your pop-up? No, <laughs> never. But there's some burgers <laughs> that I see and you can't even eat. You know, it's like this yeah, big no, with cheese. Like you know, it's like too much. I agree with him 100%. Me, if I'm going to have a burger, it's going to have a little bit of onion and some pickle, I think. Yeah, ketchup, like the typical. But I can eat anything, obviously. But what's your, like, do you do pickle and onion too or no? Yes. So the Midwest burger, the classic old school burger is pickle mustard onion. So right. that's also a good way. Right. When you're going to these little towns, there's some variation of that on the burgers. Mm-hmm. And that's a really great. When I first started doing the pop-ups in 2017 outside my museum, that's what I did, pickle mustard onion. Oh, it right. wasn't until the second event that I did this guy. And I had the guava sriracha. Like, oh, variation, because this is totally different from the original version. And this is your sauce here. Why doesn't it say guayaba? Hey, is that? I know. Should say guayaba. I know. Great idea. I'm glad I gave it to myself. <laughs> I know, I know. He told me before. But this is a great sauce. And they have, uh, you can do this on fritas, too. I know somebody that does yeah. this with his sauce. This is some good stuff. <laughs> how, how, so how, how, how in the world did you decide, I'm going to make my own sauce? Well, it, was, it just this came out. This one is a new one, the Cruz yeah. Diablo, right? It's Talk about the... Around. The, the logo, too. Go ahead and tell it. So, Cruz Diablo, that was my grandfather. He wrestled in, in Cuba, Venezuela, and Mexico. Uh, you notice I said Mexico is the only one I said in Spanish. I didn't say Venezuela, <laughs> Mexico, and <laughs> Cuba. <laughs> yeah, and that's he, a cool... He wrestled under a mask. He initially wrestled under the name El Gigante, and then even everything on the menu on my pop-ups are all revolving around Cruz Diablo now. So there's the Cruz Diablo burger. I named one after my dad. It's called El Hijo de Cruz Diablo. Wow. Uh, I have my, my Burger Beast burgers on there. And then we do one called El Gigante, which was named after pre, pre-Cruz pre Diablo. He used to wrestle under that because back then, you know, I'm 6'3". He, he, he was 6'3", but 6'3 in the 50s is a big, big deal. Yeah. 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 You're like in the circus and stuff. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so he, he was, they, 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 they called him El Gigante back then. And then. For some reason, we do a hot dog from time to time that I call it the Black Diablo. And that's because there's a trading card set that came out in Mexico in 66. And the card doesn't say Cruz Diablo. It says Black Diablo. And I have no idea why. Hmm. So, um, yeah. So it exists. There's a card saying Black Diablo. It's him. <laughs> so I figured it would be funny if I made the hot dog. The one thing that's different from right, the stuff was the Black Diablo. All right. So I come to Miami. I'm a tourist or I'm a local. And I want to know your top five spots right now. You know, your top five spots yeah. to visit right now to eat a good burger. All right. Wait a second. Before we get to that, what's your favorite burger? <sighs> Don't say McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not going to say Please. McDonald's. Keep, keep it credible. Man. Keep it credible. You know, I you, a, look, you know I, I'm not going to lie. Incredible. I ate a really good. Oh, yeah. Don't touch me. I, mean, <laughs> I, I ate a really good. I ate a really good. A burger at Shadow Wagyu. They have okay. a nice Wagyu burger, and those are friends of mine's, and, and that was one of the better things I've eaten. You made sure to name drops your friend's business. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Influencer meetup. Ding. Nah. What else? What else you got inside there? Hey, I, mean, I honestly, I haven't listen, seen it, but t- I've, heard, I've heard phenomenal stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I, 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 they did the Coral Gables. Uh, yeah, they're going on Beto's, too. They're the, Pincho, the Pincho has a good jalapeno like burger. Oh That's phenomenal, too, they that won. I ate they it there. Won. You don't mean yeah, Pincho, they have a good one too. That was that was phenomenal though. I mean, I liked it a lot. Um, th- those were like the top two that stuck out from that the burger event that they do here in Coral Gables. What about John Martin's? John Martin's, it was okay. It was okay. And I love Emmy and these guys, man. Like it's just you know if you're asking, I, have, I haven't been back since. You no, know, it's uh, good. I, I used to eat. At, I used to manage the Metro PCS across from John Martin's. Yeah. So I that was one of the first things I wrote about spots. on my blog. Yeah. I used to go there two to three times. I haven't tried the burger yet. 
for me, the bur- some of the burgers I've tried in the last month, uh, I really like Skinny Louie. Um, I don't like the wheat small coming off the side of the, the store next to it, but um, it's a great burger. And uh, La You Bina. didn't get invited, I guess? Hey, no, no. <laughs> Actually, Gonzalo is a buddy of mine. So he's a friend of mine. <laughs> but no, I love it. I love it. I don't have to wait the line, though. Um, you? I know. No, nah, you don't have to wait lines. They have a long line there? A huge line. You know, my birthday, my, my, I did a birthday five years ago at Mojo Donuts, and this guy right here <laughs> skipped to the very front of the line. I mean, there was a massive line. He can tell you out yeah. the door. Of the yeah, Mojo no, he, and, and, and he can't be inconspicuous. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a <laughs> six <laughs> foot <laughs> five <laughs> guy just care. walking through. Said, he's he's, he's going to go up and he goes, Primo, hey, Primo. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, bro. Give my boy. Give me a fucking burger. If bro. not, bro, you throw a couple of cockroaches, take a picture, and you send it to the department. <laughs> hey, hey, for him, or ain't no donut or no fucking beast burger. All right, so going back, don't escape from the question. Top five burgers right now. USPS, that's my number one, man. I love, what? yeah, that's a Citadel. I love, really? I love Mikey. I love that burger. I think it's phenomenal. It's got, a, it's got the, the nice bun on it, the different bun. Tell me he about make, the bun. They, they make, it's a pota- house-made potato bun. But it's got he, little, he does his own uh, beef like grind. He does it's his got own seeds on it, it's SBCs, right? Or no? It does, it, it does. does. Yeah, yeah. yeah it has I two different SBCs. Mikey, right? I got to go check it out. He's, a, he's reached out to me before, but I haven't had time. Yeah, fresh cut fries, very good. Yeah. Uh, Danny Surfer's uh, Blue Collar. Oh, okay. I say, say like a, I'm always saying like it's a 1950s restaurant. Back then, everyone put their name in front, like Danny no, no, Surfer's no, Blue, Danny, Danny, Danny's Blue really Collar. Blue Collar, and they're actually doing this month doing. Uh, I sound like an ad now. They're doing a buy one get one for lunch on the burgers. Where's that? Uh, shit. Uh, on uh, Biscayne, like 79th. Danny, we're gonna go. I'll finally go, and he'll take me. How's that? I'm always trying to scam. I owe him a visit. <laughs> no, I, he, know, he knows what I'm talking about. I owe him and number three, um, I'm gonna throw one that I just had recently, and I haven't even talked about. Uh, Calamiod. The Spanish place off of 57 in the Old Islands drugstore. I heard about that place. Bro. Oh, wow. I haven't Re- been there. Yeah. Really? I mean, the Coroguetas, super creamy. Really? Uh, I, I was a little... That's like an eatery now, no? It, you know, no, exactly. That's right there. It, it's, a bake, it's, it's, a, it's a bakery. Um, a friend of mine brought me some croissants. From, croissants. From well, croissants. <laughs> and, uh, and so I went the next day to try the croquetas, and wow. I went to try the burger. The croquetas, good. This is the only thing I don't like. I, I don't like these croqueta games that people like to play. Like, you... They have three. They have cod, chorizo, and ham. Yeah. But you have to buy four. And you can only get one. So in other words, I'm there by myself. I'm like, I'm not going to buy eat croquetas. Cause I want, try all of them. I want ham and, and, well, I didn't want the cod ones. I, I try to stay away from eating. I'm not a big fan of seafood. Okay. So then they have an option for six. But if you order the six, you get two of each. I go, wait a second. There's no option where I can just get two? No. <laughs> I go, I'm not ordering. <laughs> I'm either ordering yeah. six and not eating two, or I'm ordering. Right, right, I'm right. gonna end up with eight. Why do you lock me up? <laughs> so the ham, super. If you like croquetas, super bechamel, really? a little piece of them, very, very good. Yeah. And yeah. fourth, uh, hmm. Let's think. Who do I really love? Are you hungry? Grill the Wagyu beer cheeseburger, which we met yes. there. At, at, yeah. At, at. yeah, we went there the other day. Really? Yeah, I love love that. Burger. I'm, I'm a little surprised by this place. Not that they're. This not is. Crazy. I mean, I've never heard of any of these places. He's never. He's never really put up what Boy, that's not hard. <laughs> you, Mr. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that one later. <laughs> and, and your fifth one. And your fifth one. Because I'm a little surprised by this list right now. I'm not gonna lie. I think. I think it's a tie. I would say two places that aren't necessarily known for burgers, but you should. Hate Mondays, Carl Carl's Oof. Barbecue. He does that that phenomenal Remedy Burger, which won my Hamburger House Party one year. Now he's up to Remedy 2.0. That's Remedy, the original Remedy is the one that won. What is it made out of? I haven't been there. I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, he does yeah. a reverse oh, bun, a good reverse bun with a with a with a glaze on it, and then Chef's on the Rundown in Homestead. I'd like to give him a shout out because a lot of people don't want to go down to Homestead. That'll yeah. go down to Homestead because <laughs> Chefs on the Runs burgers are killer, and wow. his little habanero chicken bites are worth the drive alone. Wow! Well, yeah. no, we had a, a, a clip the other day. We were playing about uh, Mexico City in, in in Homestead, a little Mexican market, and it's been going completely viral. And people are, people started saying, "Stop talking about Mexico and its food," because <laughs> everyone's going to start moving down here and coming down My here. Buddy, now. um, is opening up. A Sorry, ta- stop talking ta- about Homestead. Taco Rico down there. Oh, they're opening. They're opening up a Taco Rico down there. My boy Tato's opening up one there, and he's opening up. But he also has a Mami. He owns all of them. No, no, no. He's just opening that branch down there. And then, uh, my you, buddy, you, my... you, were you the one who let them into Westchester? No, 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 no. <laughs> he just lives down there. And he opens them because I stopped going to Taco Rico a couple years ago. I haven't been back since, but now I'm going to go start checking it out again because he's got really, really good stuff. In, in Homestead, and I can, I always forget you the name. The once time. I mean, you know, you there's know. there's a taco place. I cannot remember. Uh, that everybody Cruzal, maybe? Station, Could be Cruzal. Right? The entrance still has the terrazzo floor from Royal Castle. So the original two Royal wow. Castles had terrazzo floor that said fit for a king, and that location still has it. Oh, so does Ernesto. Do you know about so, Royal Castle? And Ernesto's Tacos on US1 also still has They're the only two. Wow. 
and I found one in Orlando. I actually went specifically to a diner just. They had it covered up, and I took it off to take a picture, and the waitress is like, I go, you know what this is? And she's like, no. I go, oh, this is story. I have a list of all the Zero. restaurants of the Rocas yeah. existed, and wow. I track down all the addresses. It's a cycle when it comes to <laughs> Dude, hey, yeah. listen, that's How cool. Many times there was one. There was one. There was. Well, There's a fourth one I knew of in Ohio. When I was in Ohio, I went there, but they had paved over it. I was like, no, I got here too late. <laughs> well, Castles in the hood, Martin Luther, right? Uh-huh. Seventy, uh, seventy ninth, and you uh, get a, a half dozen mini burgers, cheeseburgers, and they yeah, those like, and they put them in a box. Everyone's familiar with White Castle. Need a dozen. <laughs> it's kind of like White Castle. So White Castle started in in twenty one, uh, depending who you believe, six, 1916. and then. The, started in Wichita, eventually made its way to Columbus, and the founder of Royal Castle is originally from Ohio. So he got inspired, came down here, and essentially emulated the concept. You know, he, he, he made a copy, and he called it Royal Castle. And they were just little sliders. Go, the difference man. is that by the time, a lot of people don't know there was two White Castles in Miami here in the late 50s and 60s. Yeah, nobody knew. And <laughs> nobody. <laughs> they were saying, yeah, nobody knew. Nobody knew about that. And, and by the time they got here, Royal Castle was already part of the – they had been around 20-something years. So wow. think about it. They get to town. There's no there's no internet or anything. They get to town. They're like, who are these people copying, copycatting Royal Castle? Wow. That's all over town. Yeah. So they, they didn't last. And when the, the founder of White Castle, when he passed away, they shut down the locations. Wow, I didn't know we had White Castle here in the past. Two of them, yeah. You know where you can find a picture of them? Sky. You guessed it. BurgerBeast.com. Burger <laughs> you got it. I got to take you to there, bro. It's in the look- hood. Like – Run to your car, but no, I'm down, I'm down. I'm part of the hood. Man. It's delicious, bro. It's amazing, and we grew up doing it. And it's the original building. It's still in the yeah. original building. Actually, and you can spot those buildings because they have a particular look where they stick out, and then they, well, they you know, where, there, there's there's uh, near Rey La Fritas in Hialeah. Mm-hmm. There's a Chinese restaurant. I don't remember. I think it's called Kung Fu, and that's an old royal castle. And then there was another. Is it an Entenmann's outlet in Hollywood that has the building? And you can tell because the building have a particular. They do not look like any other building. Yeah, Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah like That's <laughs> orange, gold <laughs> facade, kind of weird. Um, what about the events, bro? What's going on with the events wise? I mean, um, shit, I've been going on for years. A hamburger house party. There's still nothing better. Yeah. yeah. Than that, even though there's been some. A lot of people have copied you. Let's be honest. A lot of people, but, in what but, sense? Like, what do you like? Well, with the food truck thing, he. I mean. He's single and then he probably employed all. I think he's got the world record for the most food trucks. Event. We we set initially in 2013 the Guinness World Record for largest parade of food trucks. Wow, that was, that was here in Miami. It was. Uh, I always forget the number. I think it was 65. It was here in Miami. We did a Magic City Casino. Yeah, that's uh, impressive. When Magic City, when Magic City Casino actually liked me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the house parties are called Palooza. Yeah, I mean, bro, yeah the, new, the new owners uh, have like. Hands off. Like, yeah. Hands off Why is that? Bro? It's a, no, it's, I don't know. I couldn't answer because they don't answer me. It's like, it's oh. an, <laughs> you can't get feedback. No, it's an Indian reserve from like Alabama and they bought it out. They're gonna they're gonna do massive building. They're gonna do they're a the multi use complex. They're, they're doing the hotel, hotel in the back, yeah. They wanna do it like kind I of I was like, always kinda uh, surprised. Well the dog the dog track hasn't been, isn't being used, so I mean yeah. it makes it makes sense. And uh you have the Burger Beast event. Yeah, the hamburger house party burger competition. I'm very particular about who gets invited. They all have to be quote unquote approved by me, Burger Beast approved, which for the record, because he knows I, I I like to hold that with him. Yeah, he's and I have a st- I have a sticker, Burger Beast approved. I've been doing it for more than ten years. Yeah. It's all over the uh, all the states that I visit. I put them on the doors. Mm-hmm. I copied and, it completely. <laughs> and, I don't care. And, the best ideas and, are stolen and, ideas. And, he's my big brother. I and, copied him directly. So DM him if you don't like it. I don't give a fuck. And, directly, I copied. And what, my and what have I done to some of your stickers? So yeah, he he said he, he said he them off. He says he's going to rip no, but, them off. No, but I've also like recorded myself peeling them off. Taking them off, <laughs> off. So then people think that we don't like each other. <laughs> That's right, bro. Take the sticker off, bro. Fuck that guy. But for the like... record, you know who took... I had your sticker on my car. Because when I used to... I I used to your sticker used to be at Mojo. Yeah. And when they cleaned all the windows, I go, give me a sticker. And I put it on my car yeah. window. And Gio from Chad Chow took it off yeah. my car. And he filmed himself removing it. He goes, why is this on your car? This shouldn't be on here. Gio, bro, you're a hater, bro. <laughs> So are you planning on doing another Burger Beast event anytime soon? Or? I would like to do one at the end of the year. It, it just depends on the venue. That at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's the problem getting a restaurant because you've been making burgers now. Talk to us about that. I I'm finally going to get a restaurant that I can pull up. I need for free. <laughs> Love or dot. <laughs> I'm never going to pay for a burger. <laughs> hey, no, but seriously, you, what's up? Because everybody's I, I would. I would love to do a restaurant. But the problem is, if I do a restaurant, that means that's the only thing I can do. So I can't do events and, and run a restaurant fully. Uh, I, I have to be. I have to be. No, I have to be focused. And yeah. and yeah, once everything's in place and the restaurant's running fine, I can. But that means anything else I do, road trips or anything, takes a, ba- a back seat. That's 
it's true. But you've yeah. been doing that for so long, and people have been dying for it, bro. The pop noodles are fantastic. I've had the burgers. The sauces are crazy. And yeah. who better, bro? You know, you got your boy uh, George is killing it right now. You want to talk about that a little bit, George? George Motz. Oh, Motz. Motz. Yeah. yeah. George he's got a heat. He's he's killing it in New York City. A yeah. fellow uh, food uh, burger expert as well on a. Uh, I'm in New York, and he just opened up his little spot. So I'm like, yeah, yeah it, it's it's funny because George is considered by many, you know, the foremost yeah. e- uh, burger expert in the world. For sure. Wow. And he yeah, he's yeah. been on Travel Channel. He's got a very popular series on on YouTube with First Week Feast. Uh, George is a very funny guy. That bit, if you watch him, that is actually him, and that's not him putting yeah. you on. That's actually his real personality. Yeah. Uh, I met him probably within six to eight months of me starting the blog. His book was only, I think, a couple of years old at the time. He had just done the documentary. Yeah. So I kind of, we both kind of rose in popularity at the same time. He took a different yeah, avenue because, awesome. but this is what I will say. If you've bought or seen my book all about the burger, he wrote the foreword for my book. And if you want to f- see what he thinks about how much I know, read the foreword. And that did, will tell you a lot about how much he thinks of me. Do you ever get, uh, yeah, the totally people from totally around the world ever reach out to you for like advice or anything like that? Like, you have no. burger groupies. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the kind I'd want. <laughs> I've had I've had letters written to me from jail. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it looks like a serial killer, like a scratch, like scratch. Really? I saw. Cool I showed shit, it bro. to my wife Marcella. I was like, I don't even know what to make. Or, or no, they just want to talk to love. someone, and they want to open a restaurant. They wanted my advice. I'm thinking, you're in jail. Like, don't you have a? I, I should have looked up what that guy was in there for because oh, I was man, thinking. That's cool. God knows yeah. you, how much have you responded to him. Yeah, that's cool. That's for them. Did you ever respond to any? No. Hmm, you crazy. You should have, bro. Those the guys in jail. I'll give you. I'm going to put your return address. Nah, your don't house. Do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that this either. guy's the second best uh, expert don't for burgers. Um, what's up with the sauces? I see you got your sauces out here. This one I've tried personally. Yeah. I haven't tried the Diablo. Go, the Diablo. Rip, what's rip, the rip, rip, rip it open and try. No, fuck that. Do no, that. come on. My eyes going to start leaking. Come on. Is it that spicy? Let's see. Try it. Put a little bit here in your... Tell me about it, though. What's put the inspiration? It on <laughs> what's the inspiration? <laughs> I wanted to do a... a uh, I know it's, I know it's your, your grandpa, but like flavor-wise, why hot sauce? I, I like uh, tomatillo like, sauce uh, like from like Mexican food. No? no, no, no. This is not really for burgers. I it's actually... I do I do it for eggs, right? I think it's perfect for eggs. Then I had a little ball bill. Damn, I wish I had an empanada. Empanadas is really good with That's that. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah it's good it, stuff. It, it's it, it doesn't burn that much. It it's got flavor. It doesn't. I, it's available for sale on my site. I don't really. I don't sell a lot on my site. Uh, empanada Harry's. I've seen a store. Yeah. Empanada Harry's sells a boatload of it. Isn't this on cows? It was. It was during the pandemic. What happened with this is. I, I came up with the idea to do this at the end of 2019. My pallet of product arrives to my warehouse. And guess what? what the following week, the pandemic. Wow. <laughs> and so now I've got, what warehouse am I going to do with all this sauce? Pallets of sauce. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where can we find those? Right now, like I said, you, uh, I don't have a lot left of these bottles. So I do do, there's other places like Quinto Sandwiches and Doral has it. Uh, Empanada Harry's has it. Babe's Meat Encounter. Joanna's Marketplace Jason, on US One, uh, Breadman Bakery has it. I know you. Don't, I know you don't like me mentioning other bakeries here, but I'll go ahead and mention Breadman. <laughs> Cow Bakery, your number one choice. <laughs> and um, yeah, they have it. And then w- w- we also do work with some place like Empanada Harris. Does like croqueta preparada yeah. with this. And are then, you, do, you, or do you feel like you can also like judge empanadas or croquetas, or are you just to stick to burgers? Particular ones. So I'm very particular well, about. I like do best of this. Like guy, he's a very picky eater. Bro. Yeah. No, I'm very, very, very particular stuff. I'm not someone. See, see, this is the other thing with with folks, right? I do not consider my ex, uh, myself an expert in everything, but I'm an expert in particular things. So, right. like, do I love empanadas? Yes. Does that have to make me an empanada expert? Hmm. Depends. We want to talk carne empanadas. All right, I'm your guy. Let's Ham and cheese it. empanadas. I'm the number one. Who's the best? That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I love, I love empanadas, and I love croquetas. I love empanadas too, and Cal Maker makes really good empanadas. <laughs> but who would you say no, is the top um, five? You know, or I three? Think the number, I'm gonna say right now. I think the, number, the best empanada in Miami Dade County uh-huh. is Harry's empanadas. Not because uh, Harry's my boy, and they're expensive, but the quality and love. In my opinion, what you eat in that empanada, bro, is you can just taste it, bro. And he also does different styles, which a lot of people uh, don't. They do complex, like a Cuban style and, or and, a Chile. He does different very complex. Style, uh, empanadas, yeah. But how, what, for instance, how about Half Moon? 
They're good. I mean, good? I mean, I'm, I, I, like when I say they're good, I, I, I'm, I'm prefacing that I am comparing this to my favorite. So, gotcha. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what so I mean? What like, is your Empana, favorite? I love Empana Harry's. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my god, I cannot believe I forgot the name of this gas station that's here on Corway um, that sells beer too. El Carajo? No, 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 no. no. Uh, I don't remember their name, but they have got a couple locations there. Uh, beef empanada. It's probably the heaviest empanada. That's not why I like it. It's just like pure ground beef inside ground. the. Damn it! You don't remember the name? Mendes you know? Mendes Fuel. Oh, Mendes Fuel. Really? Yeah. That's here towards the right, though. No. Yeah. Really? I like Mealy's too. It's pretty good. Mealy's empanadas is good. I used really to eat them They used to eat my house. I've tried them many times. Harry, uh-huh. Harry's gonna stop talking to you. No, no, Harry's number one. Hey, this <laughs> yeah, but you know what I like about oh. Mealy's empanada? That la harina they use. It's like a sweet, like a sweet bread. Uh, and flavor wise, ham and cheese is number one for you. I love ham and cheese, so but it's I'm, gotta I'm, be I'm, warm, right? Because if it gets cold, it's done. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie he's this gonna, ham and cheese. He's gonna with, backtrack, collision. No, I'm gonna I'm, no 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 not at all. I'm gonna tell you a empanada Harry's ham and cheese story that ties into the empanadas. I love ham and cheese. Growing up, my mother made me ham and cheese sandwiches when I would go to Rockway Elementary in beautiful Before Westchester. Me too. Summer, <laughs> summer cramp in Rockway. Shout out. And my mom would. Two to three days out of the week, I would get a ham and cheese sandwich, and I would eat it, and I always associate those memories of ham and cheese with my mom making me. So I love ham and cheese sandwiches. Everywhere I go, I'm on road trips, ham and cheese, Marcella thinks I'm ridiculous. Yeah, you are ridiculous. And I want I thank you. And so I, 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 am, I embrace being ridiculous. And, and so I love ham and cheese sandwiches no You're matter what. You're a purist, what. that's why. So I go to Harry's, and they bake their own bun. They smoke, you know, the, they do the cheese, and they do the ham. I get the ham and cheese on the empanada. Harry, if, you, if you've been to Empanada Harry's, they also own Smoke and Dough, which is their barbecue place. Got gotcha. you. I haven't been there. And, um, he, he's not an eater, I guess. <laughs> well, but he's, 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 he's working properly. I'm working, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I would love to go and yeah. hang out and just go eat, you know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I have to take you out. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> yeah, but, just hang out and eat. So we and do. so they have a ham and cheese sandwich. I love it. They don't understand why I love it because there's a lot of great food on their menu. Completely. And, 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 they, and they're like, why do you keep eating? I go, because I love it. And it just reminds me of my childhood. And one day I went in there and they actually said to me, you can't have it. I go, what do you mean I can't have it? They're like, no, you're going to get something else today. It's I want to be clear that I'm paying for this. They're telling it me I can't, I can't. I agree I can't, with can't, them. I agree I, with them. I, 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 but I've had everything. I just prefer this so that like, you can't have it. And I said, you will live to regret not letting me have this sandwich Get today. the fuck out so of here. So I waited. I like biding my time, so you totally forget about me. Harry was uh, with Carlos Frias on a podcast. Uh, Carlos Frias, the food editor for the Miami yeah, yeah. at the time. And he's interviewing Harry, and it was live on YouTube. And I go, this is where I strike. And I told Carlos Frias and the thing, hey, ask him about his ham and cheese. And he's like, hey, we got the Burger Beast on. And he's, oh, cool. He goes... He he told me to ask you about the ham and cheese, and you could instantly instantly see Harry's face change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no, going to tell you. Track it down, by me. me. T- track it down and see his face, and you will laugh. So he thought he was going to get get me to stop doing this because okay. but on Harry's is a lot of my events, and I would tell people go ask him how come the ham and cheese sandwich is in here. And, oh my god, just yeah, trolling! And, like and even when I was there two weeks ago for smoke, I went to Smoke and Dough. Someone walked in, and was like, "Hey, I'm here because of you." I'm like, "Cool." I go, "Hey, have you had the ham and cheese sandwich next door?" And ham and cheese empanada or ham and cheese sandwich? No, sandwich, sandwich, gotcha. sandwich, sandwich. But I'm saying they do a great ham and cheese gotcha. empanada, empanada. But I'm saying this ties to them. Yeah. So, so he created a sandwich named after me, a croqueta preparada with a smoked ham croqueta. And it has my guava sriracha ketchup in it. Wow. And he called it the Beast Croqueta Preparada. Oh, wow. And I told him, I will never eat it. I will, continue to eat ham ham and and I will continue to eat the ham and cheese at Empanada Harry's. Wow. This guy's the man, bro. This guy's the man. <laughs> hey, bro, I like the way you dig in. You, know? like, you stay authentic. You stay authentic. I, I, I gotta be hey, committed. but going back to the <laughs> n- nostalgic part, uh-huh. I know this may be a stupid question, but uh-huh. out of all of the fast food restaurants, oh, right? The, fat, the typical fast food, mm-hmm. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, um, which one would you say has like the best burger? I mean... A best burger or the one I like the most? The one you like the most. <laughs> the, one like the, most. the fast food chains. I mean, the best technically, I would probably say the quarter pounder from McDonald's because it's fresh beef. <sighs> Fucking crazy. I'm not saying that's my favorite. My fresh favorite. beef? What do you mean fresh beef? Quarter pounder from McDonald's is fresh beef. But isn't it frozen? No, it's fresh beef. But it's D bean. Hmm? It's class D though. Uh, I mean, that's you're spreading that rumor, not me. No, it says it on the thing. It says it on the thing. It's no, I'm not class sure. D. I, I mean, I just feel like a little kid when I'm eating that. Like Happy Meals, just you like the burger. cheeseburger. Yeah. I like, so I like the typical up, plain cheeseburger. I was a Burger King uh, double cheeseburger kid. Right there, you go. I was when like, when it, when it's executed properly, I don't think there's a better than the double cheeseburger from Burger King. The problem is 
they don't execute it properly. That's the main it's problem. Horrible, they don't. And, bur- and McDonald's does execute the double but cheeseburger. But when was the last time you got a warm burger from, yeah. from McDonald's cheeseburger? It always comes cold as shit. Nah, from McDonald's? No, I go, yeah. I go no way, man. Nah, I can't trash McDonald's. Yeah, look, McDonald's the was the in, original the one OG. In, the, one in, the one in Palmetto Bay is horrible. I love my McDonald's right. in the corner of my house. I, I even have to tell them, give it to me hot. You know, like, hey, cheeseburger, make sure it's hot. Wow, that's crazy. No, that's kind of hard because, you know, they just changed them. And we're back. And I was kidding. Um... All right, what else you got there, Ed? Um, he wrote down some stuff for you because we want to make sure we get everything. We, I, don't think, worst, I don't think we. I don't think we answered the. No, the you thing. did. You did. You did. You did. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? The uh, you, you said the the quarter pounder, the flame board quarter pounder. What else? Though? What else? Because I'm not a fan right, of that. Tell me another one that you like. You, you don't like the quarter pounder, really? I don't. Dog. So yeah, you know, no. McDonald's just recently, also within the last year, changed the way they make the. Have you worked with McDonald's before, Seth? No, I just am too mozo. <laughs> but listen, they're a major producer. Bro, so you know what they I do, like? They do a clamshell, and now you know McDonald's. They do little the little frozen pugs, and then they do the minced onions, which I told you are yeah. Yeah. hydrated onions. And so before it used to be they assemble and then they put you know ketchup mustard whatever yeah. put the onions and then they put the burger on there that could have been sitting in a holding tray because these places if you go on lunch is the best time to go because they're turning products so the mm-hmm. things are not sitting in the trays right. if you go in the afternoon you may just be getting something that's been sitting there for a little bit yeah. and I know there's like a I don't know how much the window is like it's a few hour window that the the burgers sit there but with the cheeseburgers now they cook the onions on the patty so what it means is when they put it in the clamshell. Because there's no yeah. flipping burgers anymore. This right. is literally you put a bunch of these things down. You close the yeah. clamshell. It locks and it pops open when it, when it's ready. Wow. Now they put the onions so the onions cook Kinda with the burger. So yeah, that's so a different. Yeah. I mean, I, I, anybody can say whatever they want. It, to me, like tasting wise, it's like a solid taste burger. It's obviously a little bit more affordable. For me, Burger King is my favorite burger. I like both of them. I like and, not, and not a BK Big King because there's too much bacon. But like like how like how we said. Uh, but the that's double a beautiful che- burger. It is, but it's so beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, but it's never done right either. Is it right? Right. right. But I think a, I yeah. think the double cheeseburger for me is the they best. They were doing that melt. Fresh. They were doing that melt with the round sourdough bread. What do you think about but that? The, the problem is they couldn't it's execute heavy, it properly. Man. No, they just couldn't execute it properly. It was the main problem. It was kind of like a patty melt. But then the bread was never toasted. It was yeah. like someone gives you, here's yeah. your tostada, and, and they just put butter on yeah. bread, and they didn't yeah. even toast it. And yeah. you're like, what yeah. is this? I love the, the Wendy's bread. They have like a good potato bread. They have potato bread, I think, on the chicken. I don't the think chicken, on the bro. Room. Yeah. Listen, what are the what is the worst tasting burger you've ever eaten? Something, yeah, bro. That, let's see, that's a good topic. I for a long time, I would say the worst tasting burger I had was a Dairy Queen and in, in the Keys. <laughs> There's a Dairy Queen driving down there. I stopped there, and Wait a minute, my dude. blog my blog was only a few months old, and I was looking for content. You have to realize when I started the blog in 2008, there was not a lot of restaurants to go get burgers from, so yeah. I started filling spots but going to fast food places and then i'd be like oh you're dairy queen not all the dairy queens sell the the burgers some of them like the one here on bird is just ice cream so i was like let me grab the burger i ordered the burger and i was like horrible eso era como una zapatilla it was just like dried up oh man they used to have that smoked pulled pork sandwich on the menu and me and my buddy one time we went in there and, and he said watch this watch this and he's like yeah, let me get the pulled pork sandwich. And, and real quick, can I see where your smokers are? <laughs> and the guy's like, what? He goes, yeah. It's just smoke pulled pork. Just where your smoker's at. He's like, no, that gets comes in frozen. I'm like, oh. Yeah, we were just laughing speak, at speak, it. Speaking of which, Arby's has a burger on the menu. I think, I'm not sure if oh, it's on. at Arby's? Arby's, people who like the meats. <laughs> people, people that, that the huh? sandwich looks like a. I think the problem with Arby's is that every sandwich tastes like the same sandwich to me. You eat an Arby's set? I, I sometimes, but I'm telling you, if you I order the one for that, I don't know. I've never. No. I've, I've never well, they, I, I eat there once, and everyone again. They do a wag. What's called a wagyu steakhouse burger, and it's cooked <laughs> sous vide style. Did you know that? No. So, still so you have to say to yourself, Arby's does not have an immersion blender. So how are they doing sous vide? <laughs> and number two, they don't have a flat top. Guess how they're doing it? Oh. They get shipped in in an immersion, uh, like in the bags, the burger, uh, and then they deep fry it. So the burgers are deep fried. But you know what? Yeah. If they don't order deep fried, it's good. But again, it know. goes back to people who can execute. Wow. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like I like checkers too. Checkers is pretty good. Are the fries? Check, checkers brought back the fried pies. Yeah. Oh, they did. Here's a here's a, a thing for people in Miami. KFC just brought back their fried pies, which are like the old school McDonald's ones, but they're only at the corporate KFCs. So you have to know, and they're not even on the app. So. I already have like a list of some places I have. Like, well, 
<laughs> I'll, hey, look, this is how sick I am. I am so committed. I won't even go eat. I'll drive by the place and be like, oh, they have it. Okay, just check. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a list it's that you crazy do. You have a list that you it's do. okay that you touch me. That's fine. No, I touch you all the time. <laughs> you, have a, you have a list that you do once a year? Right, yeah. All right, and it's coming out, what, May 15th? May 15th. Do you want to talk okay. a little bit about yeah, like a little... It's Burger Month. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Burger national, Month. National do you burger. want to talk a little bit about your Burger Month list that you do yearly and maybe a little sneak peek on who you have on that list and how oh, that's good. Well, we, we kind of briefly t- uh, talked about it. I said USBS. I'm a giant fan. Chug's Diner uh, in the Grove. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love Chug's. Uh, Are You Hungry Grill. He's at, uh, at uh, the brewery Unbranded. You can find him there. He's also got a spot near Belen, Street. Belen Jesuits. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what else did I say? Like, I was totally surprised by. That one, I'm, I'm shocked. That one. Well, I mean, you know, I. They just I, opened, but it's always packed. When it opened, well, the parking situation there is what it makes me not want to go there. Oh, but you know why I stopped? Because the first parking space was empty when oh, I drove by. Oh, you stayed right in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's tough there. It's crazy out of the corner. Yeah. And then, like I said, uh, you know, Are You Hungry? Uh, are the- You Hungry? I hate Mondays. Uh, there's there's a bunch of places the places will get removed. I'm gonna tell you. That's one what I was gonna say. Do people get upset when you remove them? Yeah, absolutely. And they write me, and then I don't even know what to tell them other than I found something I like better. I mean, what what else am I supposed to say? What I'm, about the burger at Apocalypse with Jeff? Oh, that's phenomenal. That's a cool one, right? I've had it. What yeah. do you think about that? The Carnival Barker Jeff from Apocalypse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ate a burger last week. I got a bunch of DMs complaining to me because I was talking about how good it is, and it's gonna be on my list. I don't care what anybody says. Shorty's barbecue. Yes. Wow. <laughs> no way. I saw that. They, they, bro, Listen, I don't, bro. It is so good. Yes. The burger? Yeah. Damn, but not the I told them, can you guys pay me what you normally pay Kiko? And they're like, all right. For, 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 for me, Shorty's, no, it's, I mean, I like, I like the hot sauce, the, the barbecue sauce that they serve yeah. warm. Yes. Yeah, yeah the, the vinegar base. We grew up here. there, going there. I just, I don't know, man. It's been a while. Been, maybe, uh, maybe I give it another chance. Another chance, but. I went there. I had, my dad ordered the brisket sandwich. Which one? US one? No, no, the Westchester Bur- one. Westchester. The one on Bird. Uh, the burger's great. I, I, I cannot say. It is an idea. Yeah, we got to cut it. The perfect version of a char-grilled burger. Cheese. Got the little meat. crust on it? Yeah. Thick, a thicker patty. Perfect. Wow. Uh, one. Yeah. I'm telling you. Do so, it. So, coming up, what do you got? You got the list coming out May 15th? Yeah. I'm doing stuff uh, with a Visit Lauderdale Wine and Food People. We're doing 954 Burger Month. Oh, doing wow. four events up there. Doing okay. a closing Before party. Are you going up north? Yeah, I have. I'll be there tomorrow. Really? May uh, May nine uh, towards tomorrow, May eighth. Uh, May fifteenth, we'll be at the food truck store, doing an, an event, and then May nineteenth is our closing party. Uh, we're going to be at Gilbert's for Lauderdale. They're going to be doing their burger. I'll be doing my Cruz Diablo. <laughs> Pincho will be there, and wow. we also have Cuban guys there. So you get the ticket, wow. you get to try all, all four. If you guys want to uh, attend, no, you do. Send me my tickets. Yeah. You're you, but you're gonna have to pay because I don't trust your your. Problem. Yeah, <laughs> and let's do an event with this guy, bro. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Let's do an event. We're gonna go across the street right now to the plaza so you can see it. And let everybody know your real name, Burger Beast. <laughs> Serafin. Serafin Gonzalez. Yeah. Serafin the third, Gonzalez. The third, because you know who's the first. Cruz Diablo. Well, Cruz now Diablo. you can go on MiamiDade.gov or somebiz.org and find him and find his house and then complain to him in person. Yeah. You, about... you can, and even better is you're going to find my parents' house because it's yeah. listed. <laughs> complain to him in person for taking you off the list. Plug the, plug the website one more time before we sign off, Primo. BurgerBeast.com. Burger and nine, and 954 Burger Month is the, what I'm doing in Broward. For right me, now. it was an honor today. Uh, this is my, one of my bigger brothers. Uh, I've always followed him and I love him to death and the only guy that actually I let uh, rip on me, so... I want to thank you for coming on, Primo. Yeah, that was and, uh, of course. That was a lot of I wish fun. you all and the best. Way, yeah, I want to say, and this, is, this, videos, no? and this is a fact. This right. is a fact. When people try to say something about you, I tell them, you're not going to say anything about them. Only I get to say something about Straight them. Straight up. <laughs> the nicest asshole. Peace. I love it. Thank you for coming. Thank Thanks, you guys. guys. Thanks so much.